this is the factory we did it and uh, this is the aerial view picture on the right hand side even you see the vega factory but the sml factory is right in the front this is the master plan of that uh, construction we did it and this project we started in 2016 uh, the plot details is 875000 square feet built up area is 225000 square feet and as of now uh more than 3400 uh, workers are working in two shifts the architects of the project were the client themselves led by ananya singhal and their engineering team structural consultants were ami engineers amdavad and my company avni enterprise were the plumbing consultant when client approached us there was a design theme given by them and that design theme was to celebrate the engineering uh, and they wanted all new scientific technology to be part of this the first for us was the minimal usage of water so for this factory building uh, against national building code 45 lpcd we designed at 30 lpcd and the another most important thing is for the today's topic was organic degradation of faces on biological principle plus reusing the reclaimed water one minute so this is the view of the uh, canteen building this is the another view of the uh, close up view of the canteen building and the factory building and the rain water pond so this is the view of the toilet which you can see here uh the uh, toilet blocks there is a separate pipeline for each path each path i mean waste water goes in separate line soil waste goes in separate line and that canteen building kitchen and all that goes in the separate pipeline for uh, the waste water generation and then the its treatment so here you can see this is a septic tank these are the soil manhole these are the waste manhole and this is the constructed wetland this is the collection tank and this is what we did it at this that soil is coming to this uh, septic tank or a bio reactor and then after it goes to this uh, constructed wetland or horizontal subsurface uh, flow a uh, wet wetland so kitchen waste waste water all goes separately and the capacity for that is 75000 liters per day reclaimed water from grey water treatment plant is used for flushing landscape irrigation and what you said hari ji passive cooling we have used it here soil waste water the total capacity per day is 31.5 kld and is treated in decentralized man manner through meander type septic tanks we call it also bio reactor so total capacity installed and executed or working capacity at site is 106.5 kld daily water demand is uh, 75000 kld because we are using per first day only it is 1 lakh see i said 3400 worker 30 lpcd so 1 lakh 5000 was the demand day one so day one full population was also not there so we started with 70000 and now we are working with 70000 only no water is discharged out of the site it is zero liquid discharge since inception anyway i'll come in, come to that little later so decentralized treatment for soil water meander type septic tank with 21 day retention bio reactor and pathogen removal where poop and excreta and urine is a reject from human body which is a biological waste is treated in biological prince on biological principles in this bio reactor septic tank and effluent is filtered in bio bed horizontal subsurface flow treatment constructed wetland so this is the septic tank how it was conceived and designed of course muni bhai was the principal mentor for all this so this is the septic tank these are the three compartments of the septic tank 
and solid free sewerage SFS is coming out. It is designed on the principle of nature's septic tank, which is human colon. But the most important point is we are not at all doing mixing. See, right now what we are doing is even all the cities, the we have in Gujarat, we have separate two line regulation, gray and black to be joined only in the manhole. Up to them, we need to have separate pipeline. But here we treated right up to the end, two pipelines were separate or rather four pipelines are there. A loop mimicked colon in a septic tank design, which is an extension of colon. So this is the details of uh, the septic tank, little enlarged view that when the uh, uh, soil waste comes in the first compartment, it is having the carbon molecule of C16, 18 or CN is the number. So different uh, molecules are attached carbon molecule, when it goes into the septic tank, the solid settles at the bottom. Uh, the inlet DO is around 5, 6, and the pH is around 7. pH at the bottom is around 5.4. pH at the end of the first compartment is around 5, 4. See, when the uh, sewage is retained in the first compartment, organic degradation starts there. Here, and as per the specific gravity, molecules, mo carbon molecules moves up and down, gases goes up and down, and we can see froth and bubbles and many things. So this is how it is visualized in the septic tank. The lighter uh, carbon molecule then after goes. The first compartment, we call it fist, and second compartment, there is less food, so there is a femine. From here, again, the lighter compartment goes into the third compartment and where there is extreme femine condition is there. The DO level is around 0.5 and because of this extreme femine, the uh, fetus only will survive. Solid free, fetus microbe will survive. Solid free sewer is coming out. So solid free sewer goes into the receptor tank uh, and in recep from receptor tank, it uh, goes into the wetland or whatever uh, kind of uh, treatment we have uh, conceived at different project, different style. But basically, solid free sewerage, sewer is going into the uh, further treatment for uh, or further usage. So solid retention time in first compartment is nine days and anaerobic digestion is happening in this bioreactor. The second compartment, solid retention time is seven days. Again, in these seven days, uh, the organic degradation is happening. And the third compartment, it is five days. So what is written is 21 days solid retention time in oxidation pond. That statement is right, but the reference is inference is incorrect. 